Welcome to the Grade 12 Biology Cell Division Series. Today, I am going to talk about mitosis. If you have not done so already, I recommend you to download our Grade 12 Biology, the Cell Division Study App. It contains lectures, flashcards and quizzes it's completely free and it's available on both the iphone and android so go to your app store or your google play and um, search for this app or you can also um, look for more information in my website for which i have provided in the youtube description Let's start with the M phase. So the M phase is the process by which the cell splits into two identical daughter cells. Cytokinesis is a process before mitosis in which the components within the cells, um, such as cytoplasm and the cell membrane, divides. The combination of mitosis and cytokinesis is called the M phase. The M phase approximately composed for 10% of the cell life cycle. The phases of the cell cycle and mitosis are interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So on with the first phase that I'm going to talk about is the interphase. Well, interphase is the longest phase of the cell cycle. This phase is used to prepare the cell for mitosis. Interphase in itself composed of three subphases, the G1, S, and the G2. G1 and G2 are growth phases. The cells grow and multiply components to support the growth efficiently. The S phase, on the other hand, is where chromosomes get duplicated. Prophase is the phase of which the chromatin condenses into chromosomes. Centromeres in this phase are pushed to the opposite ends of the nucleus and the prophase ends with the breakdown of the nuclear envelope. In the metaphase, the centromere now in the ends of the nucleus pulls the chromosomes toward the two ends of the cell. In the anaphase, separation of chromatids occur and pulled apart by shortening microtubules towards the centromere. Lastly, in the telophase, microtubules lengthens more and a new nuclear envelope forms around each set of chromosomes. Both sets of chromosomes unfolds back to chromatin and it would bridge it to cytokinesis, separation of cytoplasm. After that, the cycle would repeat again. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes 
that are related to this lecture. Also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.